Hello, everybody. My name is Diana. I'm a biomedical engineer and web accessibility expert. And for years, I help children and adults to understand coding and I explain complicated um, subjects using easy words, trying to help to understand and by real life experience um, to everybody. So I get a lot of questions about how to keep a child motivated and interested about science, innovations, technologies, and from adults also about how to understand all this complex stuff as technologies, they change every day. There is something new and it's hard to keep up with all this information. I understand very much what it is, but the most important part is to concentrate on the problem and not on the solution. So I created a board game that helped to uh, make you inspired about which solutions you can use and how to use them. And um, it really empowering you with the knowledge of what you can use in order to solve everyday problems. So here it is, that's how it looks. It's how tech heroes. So it has three different types of information. So it has uh, room and uh, body parameters. It's a green color. Uh, it has the hardware parameters with violet and software and programming languages with orange. So with this map, uh, we can find solution. We can create a solution for everyday real life problem. And I prepared also the cards. So every player will take the card, throw a dice, and with the dice, he has a number of options that, can, that he can choose on the map. So the parameters that he can choose in order to create e-health solution. Uh, first, I will show you like, um, so with the game, I also bring the sensors and hardware and some software that can be used so that it becomes real so that you can see and touch things that you can work with. So it makes it more real, the solution for any e-health problem. Like for example, we have the electronic board, the microbead or Arduino um, or the sensors, luminosity sensor here, um, heart rate sensor. This is the temperature sensor and uh, many others actually. And uh, so we have, so each player, he has a card, he get a card, we choose it. And uh, then we throw a dice to understand what is the number of options that you get. And for example, like, for example, you get six. So you get six figures like this that you can put on the map in order to create your solution. So your solution will consist of maximum six options, six parameters. Like for example, here, a blind woman experiences heat waves at night. So the most important part, uh, the most important words is heat waves. And uh, we all experience something like this. And um, it means that your temperature is changing, temperature of the body and the humidity of the body. So you feel that it's too hot and it's humid. And um, it's also at night. That's what we can read. And the woman is blind. So the solution should be accessible and should be, the information should be accessible in the way, not, not in the visual way, but through the sound. Like, so the information should be pronounced. And uh, how we can do this? So we can take the sensors, like temperature sensor to take uh, temperature of the body. This is the first step. Uh, so we first determine which parameters we need to measure. So it's temperature of the body and humidity of the body. And for this, we can use these two parameters, for example, humidity, temperature, and um, humidity sensor, sorry, and uh, temperature sensor. So these two sensors, they will help us to get the parameters, but the sensors, they cannot just magically provide the information. 
In order to get this information, we need to connect the sensors to electronic board or straight to the computer, depending on the sensor that you have. So in our case, we deal with the uh, problem at night. So we need to take the measurement throughout the night to understand how it changes. So it's long, long duration measurement. And for this, I would say it's better to take Arduino because it's more powerful than microbit electronic board. So we take this electronic board and connect two sensors, temperature and humidity one to this. But this electronic board, in order to function, it understand particular language. Like for example, this electronic board, microbit, it, it understand MicroPython language. It can be mm, controlled through this language. This one through the language C++. So we choose on our map uh, to so we choose the parameters body temperature and um, uh, body humidity. We choose the sensors, uh, humidity sensor and uh, temperature sensor, and we connect it to Arduino, which is the hardware. So Arduino board, this is here. And uh, in order to control these. Uh, are doing a board. We need to um, program it with a particular language, C++ language, which is here. So that's what we need. And we don't need computer because um, we, we need computer to transfer the code. But for the solution, for e-health solution, computer is not required because we can connect Arduino after that with the batteries and it will be wireless solution. So we don't need to connect it with the computer for taking measurements. We can take measurements afterwards on the card, for example, uh, using the CD card. And uh, like this, we can take measurements throughout the night, but we need to remember that the, the last part is that the woman is blind, so she need to hear the solution. And for this, we can take a buzzer, which will help us to pronounce the measurements, the information that we get. So we can program it. We can also connect this, the last sensor to Arduino in order to pronounce the information that we measure. So this is just an example of how it works, but it can be, there can be really dozens of solutions. So you can understand how to connect the sensors, which languages to use, what they're used for, what is the differences between the electronic boards and how to create your own startup, e-health startup or accessibility startup to help people to be, to make technologies more accessible for people who have problem with vision or with uh, hearing. So it's very inspiring and empowering board game. And I invite everybody in Paris to play with me and to have amazing time to try to play it. Uh, and I hope you liked my explanation and my solution. Hope to see you soon.